All right, Hank, another day, another smash and grab destroying a storefront here in Metro Detroit. There's the latest. This one was in Warren at the corner party store near Nine Mile in Hoover. And as you can see in the video, there's extensive damage to the store. As Nick Monticelli reports, the thieves walked away with nothing. Good evening. You normally wouldn't be able to see right through here. There was a half wall and some nice windows with signs all over, but all of that obviously is gone. They're working on a temporary fix in the meantime. And over here, you can see the bolts where the ATM used to be. Now, the kicker on all this is that the owners of this party store were already thinking about doing something to prevent something like this from happening. I immediately want to go to jail for this. Frustration narrowly describes how owners and brothers Tom and Nick Salem are feeling after three men busted through the front of their party store and every second of it. You see that white car right there? That's another one. That's a getaway car. Was caught on camera. At 4.40 a.m., the thieves used a stolen pickup truck crashing through the front window trying to steal money from the ATM. But knowing it's a hot target, Nick and Tom already emptied it. They see the box. The money box is not there. They pulled it. They look at each other. Oh, dumb and dumber. They got away with nothing. But the damage they made, it's, it's too much. And to make matters worse, they were days away from having large cement pillars installed to deter break-ins like this. I know it's coming. The thieves left behind the stolen pickup truck and left Tom and Nick with at least $20,000 in repairs. You have to. I mean, it's a li that's how we live. It's a living. That's how I live in. You know, it's a job. So, you know, you can't just give up. Now, I did talk to the Warren Police Department this afternoon, and the commissioner tells me that they are working on this as fast as they can. In fact, they know this is a major problem, not just in Warren, but all throughout Metro Detroit. They're going to get some police departments working together on this to try to catch these guys. And Warren, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.